Well, we are back in my cousin size. Whoop. I just love this. I regret putting it on rings, I admit it. Um, but let's move past that. Let's decorate for the week. I love this sticker. Uh, Dear Monday, suck it. <laughs> in the best tees. So cute. Let's talk about my best friends in this video. Oh my god, look at that. <clears throat> I think that's one of the cutest stickers. That one right there. Okay. And here is the adorable washi. I've really never tried boba tea. I don't know. I just, those little floaty things and all the milk, it just doesn't appeal to me to want to try it. I know. I know. Um, I think I'm going to put this washi in the middle, kind of toward the bottom. Because as y'all may know, if you have watched my videos before, I like to write my gratitude for each day down here. So I like to leave a little space at the bottom. Being grateful is a um, very important thing to me. I feel like God always provides and that there's always something to be grateful for. It doesn't mean every day is great, okay? Some days suck. Um, let's put the date covers next. And we're not too far ahead since I've changed planners yet again. But let's talk about some of my best friends. Um, I moved around a lot growing up, as y'all may know. Oh, I want some, let me think, if I want some colored headers behind the date covers. No, I don't. Um, so I don't really have like a lot of friends from when I was a small child. First of all, I'm in my 40s, but I do have two friends still on Facebook that I was very close with growing up as a small child. Our grandparents lived next door to each other. So I would be at my grandparents at least one weekend a month and I would always see them visiting their grandparents. And I think that's so fun that we're still Facebook friends and I'm now watching their kids grow up. And yeah, that's really special to me even though we're not very close. Um, so besides that, I had some best friends in high school. My mom kept me at one high school so I wasn't moving around as much anymore. Um, but during college and even a little bit after, we kind of all had some falling outs. Some of it was my fault, some was their fault. It really wasn't like a, oh, we just grew apart. No, we had some falling outs. And I will say when I was in my early 20s, I was um, a little bit crazy. And so yeah, I think I definitely contributed to us not being friends anymore, but later on we we tried again and it just wasn't the same. So um that's that. Because later on when we tried to be friends again, I was like divorced and single, no kids. They were like settled down having kids and it just wasn't um, wasn't a lot that we had in common anymore. And you know, just the water under the bridge, it was just, I just, um, I don't know. I kind of just decided to let those friendships go. Um, because I just started to feel like they were, I was just something for them to talk about with each other. You know, three's a crowd. So my mama always said, and I think that's right. Um, I have another friend, her name is Jennifer. And we met when I was in my early 20s. And we have always just been kindred spirits. We have a very, um, I don't know, a very similar nature, um, both being a little bit more sensitive, I would say, and also just not having um a lot of close family and so we have been friends for 20 years and i really value her i really see her as a sister to me um she lives about four hours away from me so we do get to see each other sometimes let's see y'all i think i'm gonna put this pink box here okay let's cover up this what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this pink box right here. 
just taking a pause on the story time. And then I'm gonna put Ho, cause Boba Tea. Top of the box, yeah. But I wanna cut it kinda like off a little bit, yeah. That, so he looks like he just coming off the page of hey guys. Okay, that's cute. And then I wanna put the This Week sticker and a header under that. So I'm gonna put the really cute green faux washi header. And then I'm gonna put, I don't know, maybe I should put that under. I think that would actually look better under. For sure. Oh, cute. The sidebar's popping. Okay. And then these deco. Um, let me just think it over because I might want to use those within the spread itself. I'm going to put this guy down here. Okay. Then y'all, I have another best friend. Her name is Fee. I actually met her in a pregnancy group online. How crazy is that? And we talked online every single day for 10 years. You heard me right, 10 years. And then we finally met up in person in 2021, I wanna say. And it was epic. It was everything I ever dreamed. And we are still best friends. So, but she lives in California. I live in Texas. <laughs> so, it's hard. Um, another best friend that I have, her name is Melanie. She moved here um, in, let's see, when I was, when Emma was one. So it must've been like 2014. Um, she had apparently just moved here um, for her husband's work from Germany into my area. And I had started a little book club because I wanted to make a couple local friends. Cause as I told you, um, all my friends were far away. Let's put some habit trackers on the sidebar. Um, so, the very first meeting of the book club, she was the only one that showed up, which I think is common. Like, you know, we were just getting the book club started. So, um, but we had a lot of time to talk amongst ourselves since we were the only ones there and we hit it off right away. She was so sweet. I mean, we didn't have a lot in common, honestly. Like I had um, a one-year-old daughter. She was married, no kids not from this country, but I just felt that we got along really well. We both liked to read, so we had that in common. And then I just had fun like showing her stuff in America. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna do some headers here. Um, like I took her to Target for the first time. She had never been there and had no idea what it was. Stuff like that, I just thought it was so fun. Um, she did not know what a cupcake was. Apparently that's not a thing in Germany. I learned some stuff from her. So she and her husband leased a Camaro because apparently it was like they had really never owned a car before. Um, in Germany, to have a car, you either purchase it from somebody else, kind of like from a Craigslist type thing um, or like a barter group. They don't have car lots there, basically. You can't just go and and first of all, you can't get a car on credit. You have to pay half down and then they make your car at the factory. And then when it's ready, you pick it up and you have to pay the other half. So it's very hard for people to get a car, a new car. So most people, if they do, they have great public transportation, but if they do get a car, they get a used car and they purchase it um, just in the market because there's not car lots there. Um, and so, found that very interesting so she was her and her husband were really excited that they were able to just lease a car for a year while they were 
here in America or maybe two or three years. Yeah, maybe two years she was here. Um, and then they had to go back. Um, she didn't really want to. I don't know. I would love to go to Germany, so can't relate, Mel. <laughs> but um, she's not on social media or anything. She's quite different than I am. And that's okay. I'm gonna put the weekend banner down here this time. Um, or I don't know, wait. So I might wanna put a full box there. Let me hold off on that. Cause this is so cute. Drown your troubles and bubbles. I don't even like boba tea, but that sticker is just adorable. I feel like I want to put a, ch a checklist full boxes, then dots, then this, then lines for my journaling. Okay, so I've got a plan. Um, so yeah, Melanie and I were very close when she was here and we're still close. We talk on FaceTime and texting and um, she was trying for many years to get pregnant and um, whenever she did live here, she would babysit Emma sometimes. She was the only one that I trusted to do that. Um, and she loved it because she loves kids and it worked out for both of us because, you know, she could make a little extra cash on the side and I could go once a week into the office. I had a job at the time that was remote, but I did have to go in the office once a week. And so she watched her on the day that I would go into the office and then we continued being in the book club together and... Yeah, she was just always such a sweet and special friend to me. Um, we would always get together once a week for lunch and we would take turns cooking. And she was a really good cook and I was interested to see what she made at home. And she made some really good lasagna. She also made like crepes a lot with fruit inside. And another thing that she would make is a schnitzel, but like on a salad. So I thought that was interesting. And even though we were in Houston and we have central heat and AC, she really wasn't used to having central heat and AC. So she didn't use it often. So her house would just be like burning hot. But to each their own. Um, I love learning about other cultures. So I just thought that the whole thing was really fun. And I just really enjoyed being around Melanie. And I love that we're still friends and it's been almost 10 years later. I think we'll be lifelong friends. And I will say it did teach me to like social media, you know, or not. You can always keep up with a friend if you want to. You just have to put some effort in. Um, let's put the weekend banner down here. So yeah, I just think, um, hmm. I was going to color block, but I don't have this color of a box. Uh, but I have this, and I have this. Let's do that. Oh, it's because this. Anyway, Melanie really loved the cupcake when I took her to a uh, small cakes. She just didn't know that was a thing. She's like, why do you like such a small cake? And also, you know, everything in America is very sweet compared to what she was used to. Um, Let's see, let's put the box here and then see what I want to do. Because maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want a half box and like a smaller deco. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, I would love to hear if y'all have any best friends, how long have y'all known each other, and where did y'all meet? Let me know in the comments. Um, 
I just think, you know, this day and age too, it's really hard to make friends when you're an adult. I try to just talk about the positive. I have met so many people also in the planner community, first online and then in person. And I've had such positive experiences with that. So I try, if I, if I do make other friends, I do try to make sure they're kind of like planner related because I don't know, we tend to understand each other or at least have something in common to talk about because um, I find as I get older, it's harder and harder to make a new friend. People are just like older and set in their ways or they either already have friends or they're not interested in making them. I remember one time at the park, this lady was like chatting me up forever and I thought she was really nice and I was like, oh, we sh and our kids were playing together. This was like when Emma was probably like five and I was like, oh, we should meet up here again sometime. Like they seemed to really like playing together. And she just like, didn't even pretend to get my number. She was just like, mm, no, not really interested in that. I was like, okay. Oh my God, hurt my feelings so much. Cause I was like, then why the heck? Cause I was not, you know, I don't go up to people at the park and just start talking. I know you guys probably maybe think that because I'm so talkative on here, but no, I don't just go up to people randomly at a park and start talking. She was the one talking to me, so I was just so confused by it. I was like, well, okay. That's weird, but okay. It was so weird. I don't usually do this, but I kind of want to just put headers down here too. Like a quote bottom washy. Um, so anyway. And there again, you know, I'm in my 40s, so it's just, um, as you get older, it just becomes harder to make friends. Also, we've been to several churches here and there since we've lived here in Houston for the past 10 years, and I just never had luck making friends at church. I just found that in my experience, people kind of either just want to keep to their self or they're a little bit fake sometimes at church and it's just like a little too much for me. Like they're trying to re-save me <laughs> and they're not really trying to be a friend. So, Anywho, I am very thankful for the friends that I have. I, um, if I find a friend and I feel like God has placed them in my path. I'm very loyal to them and that's that, so. There we go, guys. Let's put some dots. Candy pink. This is on the 17 and the 19. And then let's put some lines down here in putty. Oh, this is not putty. I almost made a boo-boo. Again, I've lost the putty marker. What the heck, man? All right, I'll use the gray. I keep on losing that putty marker, don't I? I'm just putting some lines down here that I can use to write my gratitude. And then I'm gonna put a typography that says gratitude. This turned out so cute. <coughs> Excuse me, uh oh. I hope I'm not getting in this car. Um, so if you, speaking of gratitude, if you do have even one good friend who's loyal to you, just treasure that. It is so hard to find unconditional love in the world anymore, whether it's a friend or um, family even. So thank you guys for listening. Thanks for joining the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.